Hello and welcome to your Shalmi Brachas Daf Mem in the Ozo Hunter print. I want to talk about a very interesting concept today that the Gemara mentions, and I'm going to go through the Sugya very, very briefly and then come up with a couple of Ha'aras I want to share. So we know the famous Gemara that says, based on a Bryson and Tosefta, that cotton chew yachalechal kezayas dagan, once a child is able to eat the kezayas of grain, portion meets oasa, we may have a of arba amos, you have to separate four amos. The Gemara in Brachos Babli actually says that it's, uh, Tinek doesn't know. Uh, doesn't have the das to be able to say Abba and Ima until they have that a dugan, which according to some of the Rishon, they explain that it has to do with even from the Yitzhah das, there's a whole machok as to what the fruit was. We'll come back to that. So, um, if you can't uh, eat that, then ain't partial lo b'tawasa v'lo meraglav arba amos. Halacha l'maysa, the mugging of Ram is machmer for any age, but at the end of the day, he says it's better to be machmer. At the end of the day, that's the halacha about a child's waste. So they asked for a vo, why do we separate from the um, from the um, excrement and and urine of this child. So he said, Now, just pause for a second. Seemingly in the whole sigi, the, the whole reason that we separate from it is because it smells. <laughs> but yet, here here it says, no, his, his thoughts are bad. So then they said, but he's just a cutting. What do you want? <laughs> and you expect him to have bad thoughts? Uh, so he said to them, yeah, the Pasuk says, Yeh to live all them Rami Nurov. Man's inclination is evil in his heart from when he's young. And the Rav says, Minarov Siv from his stirrings from when he's Mishashu Ninarav Yosilolom. So let's talk about a couple of Ha'aras here. Okay. So, first of all, the um, Agatha Sayo uh, speaks about a couple of things. So he says that, he, he talks a little bit about my Ha'ara, that it's not about the smell. You have to know that all bad things come from Chait. And chait is what causes tumma. And we know that that a person is the, the most tummy thing, like the Archaim Akadr says, um, Kedoshim Tiu, and, and many other places, and Tazir and Mitzorah, as well, that, that the main tumma is because a person does Avera. And that brought tumma to the whole world. It brought Adam, Adam Edom, Vey Sadas, brought death to the world, etc. And that's, and, and once a person starts having negative thoughts, that's it. He says, why? Because Chazal tell us, Matzah Minas Mino, closer veneer that a person has this intrinsic negativity inside him and therefore when he starts getting to that level where he's eating grain and he's connecting to the Eitzah Das, which we'll talk about in a second, so <clears throat> that is Chozer Veneer, it, it, it gets awake, it awakened in him. And that is a remnant to this Pasuk. It's the Nier, it's the, it's the negativity. And our job is to stop ourselves from being in that negative place. Then he asks, he says, I don't understand. He says, there's a famous Medrash, we know, and, and from Rashi and Chumash also, that says that the Yitzhahara was jumping around in, in Rivka's stomach. You found that Asa was kicking to go out. Also, Yaakov was kicking for the positive. So um, so you see that it's not Ra Minura from when he is born. You see it's in the in, in the womb as well. So what's this thing about changing and and, 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 and reaching Naros when, when he could eat? More than that, he says, Gemara and Hedron says explicitly, Antoninus asked Rebbe, Gemara and Sadi Alpha Base, that the Yetzahara, when does he go into a person from Shas Yetzirah when he's in the mother's womb or Shas Yetzirah when he goes out? So um, he he said to him, oh, Shas Yetzirah, which makes sense when, when the baby's in there. I'm really, no. So um, Antoninus said to him that you're wrong. That's not when. He said, the second he comes out. And and the other Madrashim say the reason is because if he had the Yetzahara, inside the mother's stomach, then he would pull himself out. So, um, like I said, suggests that perhaps for Esav, since we know Chazal say, who Malach HaMalas, who Yetzahara, who Sutton, um, who Sarosh Esav, Salach Mem, it's all the same person. So, Mela, for him, it was kicking inside the mother's stomach. For most people, it's not. Or other people say that it's combated by Torah, but maybe there was a certain contrast of, Yaakov, of, Yitzla, of, of Esav and, and Yaakov, or that since Yaakov, since, since Yaakov was in there, therefore, that's why Esav wanted to get out. Bottom line is that the Yetzirah, according to most Mamori Chazal, is only there once the child is born, and now we're saying when he eats his grain. I want to just say very briefly that I believe there are about five shitas about what the what the Yetzirah was. So according to this shot, one of them is that it's chita, that it was grain. Another shot is um, that it was esrog. There's a lot of different makaras for this. There's a confusion that it might have been an apple. Even There's even a body part called the Adam's apple. Um, Adam's apple, but um, it doesn't seem to be accurate. There is one, there's a tosis that says that esrog smells like um, apples, and there are chazals that say, dachapal tapuchin, apple garden is the smell of Gan Eden, so it seems like there were apples there, but who said that that's what the etadas was? So but I think that's where a lot of misconceptions come from. Others, well, others she just say that it was a teina, other ones say it was grapes, 
and the, and the other one says it's none of your business, meaning that the Pasuk itself didn't, um, didn't reveal it, therefore you shouldn't reveal it. There's a Tikkun Zor that says that it was the Chameshas Mine Dagen, Pita, Saora, um, etc. Uh, spelt Rai. But the Gra there says that that's not what it means. Chita means Chet, sin. And each one of those, Saora, also has to do with sin. And that, that's all it refers to. It doesn't actually mean those items. Ayin Shaman, the Pirish Agra, etc. But, which is interesting because you see that there's this element of Tumah in, in this food. So some people say that it's the independence that he gets that causes this Ramin Urav, that he's Nair and he controls himself, so to speak. And that's what, that's what it's saying over here. But it's very interesting that that's, that's what creates this Isser to be near his excrement. It's not... It's not the smell. It's a tumma and it's the raw. And the last thing is that art school brings down a very good um, reference to Abbas from Nassan, um, Perik Yudtes, that says that, and this is brought down by the Chobos of Abbas Beremis as well, that basically there was a royal palace, but um, and a person a person has a royal palace, but every person would walk by and say, the palace is beautiful, but there's a terrible smell of a tannery that's impacting it. So man is so too, he's, he's tainted by this foul, odor of his waist in order to keep him humble. And the Chobos says, he says, look at animals. They produce milk and meat and other amazing things that we get benefit from. He says a human being, all he produces from his actual body is excrement. That's literally what man is. It's a excrement creating machine. And this is in order to make us humble. I say often this uh, machshava that's brought down in the Svarim, uh, the Yaakov Ruveni brings it down, that man is called Adam. Why is he called Adam? Because he's Afar Minah Adama. He comes from the ground. But there are other, other Mamari Chazal that say that he's called Adam because Adam ala Elyon, I should be like God. So which one is it? The answer is it's both. That Yetzelev Adam Rabi Nurav, a person comes and he has an evil inclination, but he has an Ashama Elyona, which is meant to create him, to, for him to elevate himself into Adam ala Elyon. And this is like the Ramban says, Naasa Adam, what does that mean? Let us make man? Hashem and and the person. Hashem will help us. But if we, we call to Hashem, Hashem will help us. We shall be Zochet to be Adam of the Elyon and to recognize that we have ways to humble ourselves through the learning of Torah and mitzvahs and to understand Hashem's beautiful Torah more and more every day.